Close your eyes and watch your breath. Make sure that you're with the breath all the way in, all the way out, which means you're watching your mind as well to make sure that it stays right here. Any thoughts come up, you don't have to pay them any attention. If you do wander after the thoughts, that's something you have to pay attention to. Drop the thought and you come right back. We want to be as close to the mind as possible here. This is one of the purposes of meditation, is to get to see the mind clearly. We've been talking this Rains Retreat about different forms of protection that the Buddha taught. There's a list of ten. The final member on the list, he said, is discernment, which can also be translated as wisdom. It's the discernment to see where the real dangers are. Because you can protect yourself in all kinds of ways, but if you don't really protect yourself against the real dangers, then it doesn't mean anything. There was a time when King Basanity came to see the Buddha. He said, you know, I've been thinking, I mean, a person who has a, an army, a navy, well, back in those days they didn't have a navy, but they had a, what they called a fourfold army of cavalry and infantry and whatnot. He said, even if you have that on all sides, you're still not protected if you're not protecting yourself against your own greed, aversion, and delusion. The Buddha said, you're right. It took that king a while to figure that one out. He raised an army and was fighting battles, but he realized okay, his big enemy was inside. And that's where discernment points you to. It says the, the cause of your problems, the cause of your suffering is not outside, it's inside. There may be people outside doing horrible things, but the fact that your suffering comes from your own ignorance about your own mind. You have your greed, aversion, and illusion, and instead of realizing that they're your enemies, you think they're your friends. And you think they're clever friends, too. You think your greed is clever, your anger is clever and justified. Even your delusion, that's what that's the big delusion. It says, okay, all well, my thoughts, the things I want to get and things I want to destroy outside, that's all pretty clever. You've got to realize, okay, that's not real intelligence at all. The real intelligence is when you see that your problems are inside the things in the mind that make you do things that you later are going to regret. Because after all, your actions are the things that you're going to take with you. You can't take anything else with you. But your actions and the results of your actions, they're going to follow you wherever you go. So you want to make sure that you start out with good actions to begin with, so you have something good following you. As it says in the Dhammapada, if it's bad actions following you, it's like a big cart that a, an ox has to haul. It has to strain and strain and strain. and the, the, the wheels of the cart crush its own tracks, whereas the good things you do are like a shadow. You don't have to work at carrying it around, and it's, it's good for you. It doesn't, it doesn't place any weight on you at all. So ask yourself, when you're doing something, is this something I want to carry with me for a long time or not? And look inside, the, the aspects of the mind that wants you to do something based on greed or aversion and delusion. Can you find that? Can you ferret it out? Can you say no to it and say, I don't want this in my mind anymore? That's real discernment, and that's real protection. Once you've got yourself protected inside, then things outside don't matter much at all. So remember where the real dangers are. Don't go pointing your guns at the shadow of your enemy. Go point straight at the enemy. In this case, the enemy is inside. But it's very endearing. Your, your greed is very endearing. Your lust is endearing. So is your anger. They make you want to like them. But you have to realize that you know, they're going to lead you to do things you're later going to regret. As John Lee says, they're like people who get you to break the law, and then when the police come, they go running away. You're left facing the police. So ask yourself, you know, where are the real dangers in your life? And you recognize that they're inside. That's the beginning of discernment, and that's the beginning of your real protection. So you can solve the problem at the source rather at the end. <laughs>